Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys this problem here that we're going to solve and the problem is square root of 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 1 to the power of 4 to the power of 4, okay? And what we need to do is we need to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to worry about the stuff inside the square root first, okay? So worry about the square root last. So 2 to the power of 4 to 2 to 1 to 4 to 4. So where do we start now? Well, when you have a bunch of exponents lined up together, you need to start at the right side, okay? So start at the right. So starting at the right, let's go ahead and do what is 4 to the power of 4? So 4 to the power of 4 is 4 multiplied by itself 4 times, right? It's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And 4 times 4, as we know, is 16. So this is equal to 16 times 16. And 16 times 16 is equal to 256, right? Okay. And now, so let's go ahead and rewrite this into our equation or into our, into our problem. So we have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 1 to the power of 256, okay? So now, working right to left, now we do 1 to the power of 256. So 1, you may think we have to multiply 256 times, but if you think about it, 1 multiplied by itself is simply 1, right? And it doesn't matter how many times you multiply 1 by itself, you can multiply it 100 times by itself, you can multiply it 1 time by itself, or you can multiply it 256 times by itself. It doesn't matter because the answer will always be 1, okay? So 1 to the power of 256 is simply equal to 1. So let's go ahead and write it. So now we have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 1. Okay, so now next up is 2 to the power of 1. And anything to the power of 1 is simply equal to that same number, right? So if it's 2 to the power of 1, the number just stays 2. Okay, so we're almost there. So now we have 2 to the power of no, excuse me, now we have, worry about 4 to the power of 2, 4 to the power of 2 is 4 times 4, and that's equal to 16, okay? So 2 to the power of 16. Okay, so now we have 2 to the power of 16, and we still have the square root. So what do we do with the square root? Well, the square root, one way you can think about it is that the square root of a number is equal to that same number if it were powered to the one half, okay? So square root is equal to power to the one half. So the way we can imagine this is that we can imagine square root of 2 to the 16 to be equal as 2 to the power of one half, so note this one half instead of the square root, times 16, right? And this 2 to the one half times 16 is simply equal to 1 half times 16, half of 16 is equal to 8, okay? And now we just need to find what's 2 to the power of 8. So this can go pretty easy because you can do 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 2, 4, 8, 16. So that's 16. So we just have... 16 times 16, so 16 multiplied times 16 is, we already did it up here, it's equal to 256, okay? So our final answer for this problem is 256. So, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time, bye!